And now don't fall on me. Hello, and welcome to what feels like a very dangerous game of Jenga that we're about to play. But for today's video, I wanted to keep it casual. I wanted to sit down with you guys and basically just open up this feels like it's gonna fall, and open up some of my PR packages that I've received over the last few weeks. I've never done one of these videos on my channel before where I'm opening up PR boxes, but if you guys are into them and you wanna see more from me, definitely let me know. You can give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and if I receive enough good feedback, I'll continue to do them. So, yeah. If you guys wanna see what's new in beauty, Keep on watching, click that subscribe button if you guys are new to my channel, and grab a cup of coffee because I have a feeling this is going to be a long one because there's a lot to get through. Alright, first box is from L'Oreal and it says Paradise Enchanted. It's in this like cool book. And inside is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. So I've tried this before. I don't remember if I liked it or not, but so many people are in love with this mascara that I feel like I need to give it another go and see what the hype is about. And on the other side, ooh. This does not want to come out. Oh, okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. I was already sweating. All right, so now I have the Lash Paradise Mascara and I also have the primer to go along with it. But the question is, is this a white primer or a black primer? It is white, although it actually looks pink. It's white. It just has like a pink hue to it. It's probably the wand. And in the package are also some Lash Paradise liquid eyeliner. There is a black, oh, I like the tip of that. There's a black, very nice. And there's a rose gold. And in the package, there's a few more products. They sent along the Paradise Enchanted Scented Eyeshadow Palette. It's very fruity, almost smells like peach candy, but here's a look at the eyeshadows themselves. It's actually not a bad mix, very soft colors, and I feel like you could do a really pretty eye look with the tones in here. And there's a mix between matte and shimmer, which is always nice. And then they also included two blushes, and I am so excited to try this one out. It's called Fantastical, and it's a peach blush, and you guys know how much I love my peach blushes. I don't know if you can really see that right there on my hand, but I can already tell you I'm gonna like this. It has like a nice illumination, but no flecks of shimmer, which I'm into. This is called Fantastical, and then the other one is called Bashful. Let me open it. It's a lot lighter than the other one, but it's still along the same coral peachy vibes, and it's right here. I don't think the camera's picking it up, but very pretty. Next up, Lancome, these are their new lacquers. Oh, look at how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. My eye instantly goes to the orangey coral, so that's the one I'll show you. Okay, lacquer. So when you think of lacquer, you think of shine, which this definitely has. And it's pigmented, but not full pigment. It's kind of like a medium pigment, I would say. I think that's gonna be beautiful on the lips for summer, and this is totally my tone right here. I love that orangey red. And that color, by the way, was number 515. And this one, oh, this is like a hot pink. 378, it's right there. That's pretty too, more cool toned. Should we do one more? Let's do one more, maybe two more, maybe three more. This is 188. I don't even know how to describe that color, but it is nice. Let's do one more because I have a feeling, yep, I was right. I know my mom is gonna love this color because she's really into like berry lips. This right here. Mom, if you're watching, you can have this color because I know you're gonna love it. Right here. <laughs> You know what I like though is that sometimes with my lip packages that I get, not all of the colors are wearable, but when I'm looking at this wheel of colors, these all look wearable, which is really good and really dangerous. Coffee break, it's so hot in here and I'm drinking coffee, that seems bizarre. Next up is, this is from Garnier and it is all about SPF. Very appropriate for summer, although we should be wearing it every single day, but as soon as the sun comes out, we all know we think the same thing, SPF. So they sent me the Garnier Umbrelle SPF 50 100% mineral sun filter and it says it's a natural origin sun filter and this is suitable for sensitive skin. And they also give me the Garnier Umbrelle SPF 60 
Ultra Light Advanced Weightless Face Lotion. So I'm assuming this one's for the face. This one's probably for the body or both. And I've actually been trying out a bunch of new sunscreens lately because I took a lot with me to Costa Rica. Like I took probably enough for five people's worth to Costa Rica with me because I didn't want to chance it that I ran out or I didn't have enough and Andy was with me too so they say take more rather than less. One sunscreen though, I actually kept the bottle because I wanted to show it to you. We used it all up over there. Um, there's like a tiny little bit in here and I wanted to keep the bottle again to show you which one. The one that worked so well for us over there was the Vichy Ideal Soleil. SPF 60 sport so you can apply this to the face and body on wet or dry skin and it's supposed to be water and sweat resistant so the reason why we loved it so much is because we actually felt like it was working and it was doing what it said and we spent a lot of our trip in the ocean swimming we'd come out after however long reapply this to our wet skin and it actually absorbed in it didn't just like slop off and when I was in the water I felt like it really was working because I had like tiny little droplets all over the like all over my body and it almost felt like it was like a protective layer and it wasn't letting anything penetrate through that's why I had all those droplets I don't know it's just it felt like it was really working I took three other sunscreens with me but this is by far the one that we loved the most so I will definitely be getting another one of these bottles speaking of water droplets can you see the sweat that is on my nose right now it's so hot in this room let's kind of dive into some of these items right here that are already out of their cardboard boxes which by the way some are I tried to save me some time so I didn't have to like rip open while on camera um, but I haven't actually looked at the product. So this is the Glam Glow Insta Mud 60 Second Pore Refining Treatment. You guys know I've been really into getting rid of my pores. I don't think there is such thing as getting rid of pores, but trying to minimize. And now I have a new product to try out. It says to smooth a generous layer onto dry, clean skin and do not rub in. Let sit and the mask will transform into oxygenating bubbles. Leave on for 60 seconds, rinse with warm water. I am instantly intrigued in this and I wish I wasn't wearing makeup or else I'd try it right now. If you wanna see me try out a product in a video or you want a first impression, definitely let me know. Comment down below which product you wanna see and I will do it. Next are some products from Caudalie. I think that's how you say it. I've never actually used this brand before, but they sent me their moisturizing sorbet and their grape water. Oh, this is so pretty. I love that it's pink. It says that this is a must-have for sensitive skin. This gel cream immediately calms and soothes sensitive skin, providing instant and long-term hydration. And then again, I got the grape water, also for sensitive skin, 100% organic grapes, preservative-free, fragrance-free, no need to blot after spraying. Does that mean that I can do this right now? I'm gonna. Oh. That feels amazing right now. It is, it's like an oven in my makeup room today because it's so hot outside. Quickly absorbed into the skin and I don't think I need to blot. Good thing you guys aren't up close today because my makeup is starting to separate because I am sweating. <laughs> okay, this next one, I've already looked at this because I went to an event and I saw it there. And I showed it to you guys on Instagram stories even, but I have not swatched it yet. But I wanted to include it in this video because I think you guys all need to see just how beautiful this palette is. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run Eyeshadow Palette. This is like nothing they've ever done before. You guys are probably familiar with the Urban Decay Naked Palettes. This is like the complete opposite. It's filled with traveler's photos, which I think is so beautiful. I actually took this to Costa Rica with me Costa Rica with me in hopes that I would take like a really nice like beach photo with it. Never happened. I hope to still do it somewhere, but look at this. Look at the colors that we have inside. These look beautiful. Again, you have a nice variety of matte shadows, shimmer shadows. These warm tones are calling my name. That gold looks beautiful. And they have some colors that are a little bit more playful if you want to spice things up a little bit. I would do swatches for you guys right now, but I'm hoping that maybe you'll ask to see this in a video and I'll do a first impression video of just this palette. So definitely comment below if you want to see 
an, uh, an eyeshadow look with this. I got another one from L'Oreal, and this time it's all lipsticks. And look at this beautiful container they sent it in. I love that. And these are from their Color Riche Shine line. And I have 12 of them in here. I'm like kind of tempted to open some and then kind of tempted to give some of these away. I think I should do like maybe three swatches. Oh, that is nice. So it's called Luminous Coral. And the first layer was sheer. This is a few layers on top of it. Definitely has that shine that it says it would. And it's actually a little bit more pinky than I thought it would be. This one is number 900, Glossy Fawn. So you see when you do when you do one layer of it, it's sheer. And then if you build it up, you get something that looks like that. Still more on the sheer side. I think it's also just the color that it is. Ooh, number 926, Glossy Garnet. Oh my, okay, that's one swipe of this color. I'm doing the swatches all wrong. I need to start them up here. That's a really nice color. Actually, the more I look at it, I'm really digging the middle color. It's like a nice nude, like a shiny nude. I feel like that over my Spice lip pencil from MAC could be a good combo. These next two are good ones. These are from IT Cosmetics, and they sent me over the Superhero Liner and the Superhero Mascara, both of which I have on right now. And I feel like for the last month, maybe even two months, I've been raving about the Superhero Mascara. It is so good. It's one of the nicer, higher-end, like, luxury mascaras I've tried. It's dark. It holds a curl really well. The brush does such a nice job at separating the lashes and giving them the length that I like. And I've just started to use the Superhero Liner. It's very fine tip, so it gives you a really nice, precise, sharp line, which we all like. And it's more on the glossy side, so it's not a matte liquid liner. It's definitely glossy, so depends on what you like. Let's do the big black box. Oh my gosh! This is amazing! I've always wanted one of these. This is from Kiss Pro New York. <sighs> How amazing! is this. I live in Vancouver, also known as Vancouver. It rains a lot here and this is literally the coolest thing ever. So you can see my outfit underneath, but I'm protected from the rain on top. I also got this. This is too cool. Like I love getting sent make. I'm really, I'm being really loud right now. I love getting sent makeup and fragrance and skincare, but when they include special extras, like a see-through umbrella, I'm on cloud nine. I won't open this right now because you guys know that they say that's bad luck. How cool am I gonna look this fall? They sent me some, uh, it's not some, I think all of their waterproof eyeliners. I tried out the gold and it has a shimmer to it. The color is pretty bold and I got a bunch of other colors but oh extreme black there's a black and an extreme black I feel like I need to try both just to compare the two okay so I tried the black the regular black in the middle and then this one is the extreme black so I thought it would be a lot more dark and to be honest that black the middle black almost looks a little bit darker than the extreme I don't know, but I will definitely give these a go because they look really nice. How you guys doing? Are you doing okay? I got a few more boxes. The next two are from Maybelline. So excited for this one. So I'm gonna save this and open the bag first. And this is called a Wander Bag. And it says it's a super cute wet swimsuit bag for travel, beach, spa, swim, gym, and more. Gorgeous outside, powerfully water resistant inside. Man, I wish I had this for my Costa Rica trip because this would have been perfect for the beach and they branded it with Maybelline. So cute. And inside is a mascara. This is like the cutest packaging ever. Another one of those acrylic containers. Maybe I can use these for jewelry. But inside is the Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara. And I've tried the original version of this mascara, like the non-waterproof version, and it is good. I remember liking it. It says this is for the ultimate waterproof volume and length infused with coconut extract. Oh yeah, it's scented. 
That's nice. Next from Maybelline is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And if you're wondering, like, that is not new. The product or the foundation is not, but they have added more shades. So there's now 40 different shades to choose from, which I think is really amazing for a drugstore. More and more brands are starting to do this, which is awesome. I just hope that you're gonna actually be able to find these in store when you wanna go in and get your shade. So Maybelline actually reached out to me to see what shades I thought I would be. And to be honest, okay, here is like a little tidbit on this foundation. I actually really love it. I've done a review video on this like a long long time ago and I don't remember what shade it was that I'm wearing in that video but it's wrong and I wasn't actually able to find a color that matched me good enough that I felt good enough to wear it out so the fact that they have more shades to choose from is amazing and I'm hoping so hoping that I have a shade in here that will match me better than the last one that I was wearing because it's such a good foundation. I need a fan break. Okay, first of all, Pixie has the prettiest packaging. It's probably because these colors look so beautiful together, pink and green. So when you open it up, here's what we got inside. Like, look at that! In here you got two highlighters. It says they are creamy skin-like texture powders that create a lit from within luminosity that glows natural in any light. And then there's also five liquid fairy lights and these are ultra sparkling liquid eyeshadow with 3D effect to wear solo or on top of any eye look. And I've actually already received some of these products. Well, I've received these, not the not the powders. So what I'm thinking here is, I'm actually not even gonna take these out of the packaging as much as I'd like to swatch them for you, but I'm going to give this away to one of you. And so we'll do a giveaway. I'll show you all the details afterwards, but I actually have one of these open. Let me see if I can show you. Aha! This, by the way, is some of my makeup storage. Uh, I've never actually shown this on camera yet, probably because it's never organized. Look at that. Look at that shimmer. So again, these are for the eyes. You can use them alone or you can use them as a base and put an eyeshadow over top. Ooh, look at that gold. I love gold. There's uh, rose gold in the collection. Look at, how, look at that shine. So gorgeous. And I'll swatch one more just to show you. Oh so pretty. All right, so what you got to do to win all of these Pixie products is you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel, of course. Comment down below with what product you want to see me use in a future video from this haul that I've shown you today. You must be following me on Instagram. My username is Trina Dura. I'll leave it for you on the screen right here. And everything will be listed in my description box as well in case you forget. And then go and like this photo. I'll put it right here on screen. And comment win with Trina on that photo. That's it. That's all I want you to do. And by the way, check out some of my photos that I've been posting lately because there's all of my Costa Rica photos up right now. All right, moving right along to the next package and this is from Kiehl's. Okay, I again with the cute packages. So the inside looks like this. And first of all, they sent along their new mask. It's an overnight mask and it's called their Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Firming Mask. I love Kiehl's products by the way, so I'm so excited. For another one. Oh, it's like a nice, oh, it smells beautiful. Like a nice whipped mask. Feel the instant firming effect of our indulgent velvety cream mask formulated with hibiscus extract whose flower is known to close during the night to preserve its nectar. I did not know that. And our overnight formula delivers smoother looking skin instantly. Very nice. Thank you, Kiehl's. So along with the mask, they sent along a tea set. I am so excited for this. We got a mug with a David's Tea steeper. They sent along some loose tea also from David's Tea. This is the Herbal Infusion. Um, it's an organic mix. And a spoon. I am definitely, definitely having tea tonight. Even though it's 100 degrees outside tonight, I'm still doing it. Oh my goodness, this is so cute! 
It's a bag with my initials on it. Oh, this is from Schwarz, Schwarzkopf. So they sent me some travel hair care products. I have the Super Dry Fix Strong Hold Hairspray, the Miracle 15 Multi-Purpose Styling Balm, and the Powder Cloud Sprayable Powder, which I'm assuming is a dry shampoo. The Miracle 15 is to prime, protect, define, control, and add shine. And the Powder Cloud is for root lift and volume. Flexible texture with naturally rough finish. Oh, it's not a dry shampoo at all. <gasps> it, it's, it is a dry shampoo. I take that back. It's just not in an aerosol can. It smells good. It's like so smooth. Oh, and it's like really gritty when you work it into your hair. It almost turns kind of sticky. I think that's to actually help with the volume. Okay, I will definitely be experimenting with that product. Oh my goodness, I got a bag full of goodies. Okay, we got the Elf Booster Drops Sunkissed. What is that? Lightweight booster supercharges your routine for a sunkissed, healthy looking glow. Customize your radiance with concentrated drops that can be used alone or added into any foundation, liquid, or cream for a lasting golden tone within two to three days. What? Then we got the e.l.f. Highlighting and Holographic Duo in Siren's Call. I got another one of those duos. This is called the Prismatic Highlighting Duo in Mermaid Tail. If you like holographic, I think you will like this. Oh my goodness, let's get through these. We got the e.l.f. Highlighting Stick. This is holographic. Then we have the Stardust Glitter Eyeliners in Sparkling Silver, Pink Opal, Shimmering Gold. That looks cool. And Sea Foam. My goodness, Elf with the playful makeup. Oh my goodness, we are done. That That is my unboxing. If you guys have made it this far, you deserve an award. I really hope you guys liked this video. I hope it was fun for you to watch. Um, definitely enter the giveaway. I might just throw in a few more goodies along with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my vlog channel. I just posted a new video over there on Life with Trina. Click this box. It will take you over. Subscribe. Watch some videos over there. And I will see you all next week. Bye.